Hey everyone, Philip here, and in today's video I want to show you an overview of my favorite PDF editor, PDF Elements. PDF Element is an excellent option to edit, sign and convert PDF files and it has lots of other capabilities that are helping me save a ton of time. In this video I will show you how to edit documents, fill out forms and sign PDF documents as usual in a very practical way. All the links to everything we mentioned in this video you can find linked in the description box below. This is the initial screen of PDF Element, here I'm running the macOS version, the app is also available for Windows and mobile. To open up a PDF, click this blue button, I have this file right here that I want to edit so let's open it. To edit the text, click on text button. Now when you hover the mouse over the document, you can see that you can edit any text. You can move it to a new position and the cool thing is that these blue lines appear to help with the alignment. By double clicking we can edit the text, change the font and color. To edit images the process is similar. Let's switch to image mode in the button at the top bar. Now we can select and resize images. I will reduce the size of this one to make room for a second picture. To add a new image, click add image and choose a file. Now we can adjust the size and position. Editing PDFs using PDF element is extremely easy. Another common thing to do when working with PDFs is to mark them up. When I'm reading an article or research paper, I like to highlight parts with different colors. I use three colors for this. Yellow is for highlighting important points in the author's point of view. Orange is for when I don't agree with the author. In this case, I also make notes on why I don't agree. And I use green to highlight parts that are important to me and have high relevance to my work. The nice thing about this color system is that it's very easy to identify the most useful parts, especially in very long documents. If some section doesn't have many colors, it means that I can skip this part when I'm reading it again. And the highlighted sections make it easier to find the most important ideas. PDF Element also offers many nice annotation tools such as text callout that creates a text box with an arrow, and stick notes that you can place anywhere in the document. The note appears when you click on this yellow button. There are stamps that can be very useful like this one to indicate the place of the signature. You can also create your own custom stamps. Just enter the text, choose whether to display the date and time, and finally choose the format and color. After you are done editing, you can export in many different formats such as Word, images such as PNG and JPEG, and even EPUB. One feature that I also use frequently is page extraction. Sometimes I want to export just one page of the document and this is easy to do in PDF element. Click on organize pages and on this screen you can right click on a page and export only that page. You can also rearrange the order, rotate or delete a specific page. Now I want to show you something that most people don't even know exists. Some PDFs are structured in a way where you can click into the form to edit, but sometimes it's not that easy. This other document, for example, does not allow me to fill in the fields automatically. PDF Element solves this in a very practical way. If the document already has lines or boxes indicating the part that should be filled in, go to Form and on the icon on the right choose Form Field Recognition. It looks like magic, it recognizes the fields and now I can fill in each of them. If the document doesn't have rows and columns, which is quite common, you can manually add text fields. By clicking on text field, you can drag to create new text boxes. Then fill in in the same way as in the previous example. There are lots of other elements you can add like checkboxes, buttons, drop down and signature area. Speaking of signature, with PDF element you can digitally sign any PDF document. Click on Markup and choose Create Signature. As you can see, I already have a signature I recently used, saved here, but I will create a new one to show you the process. You can use the mouse, which I don't find very precise, or you can sign using a trackpad, which allows to be much more accurate. Then you can choose a color or change the thickness of your signature. Now add it to your document and place it in the correct area. Next time you need to sign a PDF, you can reuse this signature. And if your document contains data such as financial information, it's an excellent idea to protect this file. 
PDF Element offers you a couple of protection options and I will show you how to use them. In the file menu, choose Encrypt with Password. Here you can add a password that is required to open the document. I will type in my super secret password, confirm it and close this document. Now when I open it, I need to enter the password. Another option is to restrict the printing of the PDF. We can restrict it completely or allow only low resolution printing. You can also add a password to block edits to your document with multiple options of what you want to limit. As you could probably tell by now, PDF Element has a ton of capabilities for working with PDF files. It is by far the most complete PDF editor that I ever tested, that's why I recommend you to try it. Check the links in the description below to learn more. And if you like this video, you will also love this one where I show how I control my schedule using time blocking. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!